So we're back with a brand new game. This time we're checking out Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn. Let's jump on in and see what this game is about. Just do normal. No. For ten bitter years since the dead broke through the door, I've promised you peace. Today, I'm making good on it. Salma hatched a plan to blow up the door. To cut the dead off forever. Alan and I volunteered. We probably won't make it back, but I would rather take my chances than leave you in this broken world. You deserve more than a letter you'll never receive. But we both know you would never let me go. I lived a long life, but never a full one. Not until I found you. Promise me you'll live, Noor. I'm off to earn my rest. Baz. Front! Aim! Fire! No, she's not accepting anyone. Just pretend I shoved you, all right? <laughs> you sent Baz and Harlan to the door to the Great Below. I don't have time for this, Vanek. Requesting permission to- Denied! Baz can't fight at his aid. Harlan can't cover for him and blow the door at the same time. I'm the best sapper you've got and you know it. Return to your station, Vanek. Was that? Can't have been them. The blast came from too low, wasn't nearly loud enough. I see. They're late, aren't they? Just give the order. <sighs> All right, then. All right. Follow the trenches to the old fort. Stop for nothing and no one, understood? Yes, Field Marshal. Run. Clear the way. No rest till dawn. No, no rest, rest till, till dawn. dawn.
picked the wrong fight. and get it! doing here I'm here to kick your ass for leaving me behind I can't let you could get killed did you even think about that no please this whole mission is just just pull the damn gate up oh. Sarah is here Seriously. both of them small favors And Yahara is. Listen here, you little trench filler. Keep it down. The shimmering wall's bad enough. You want to bring the dead on our heads? The shimmering what? What in the pits is that? Some kind of wall. It's not glass or stone. Or any other damn thing. We could scale the stones to the parapet. It couldn't extend over that. Absolutely not. The dead will pick us off on the way up. Oh, we're wasting time. What have you done? Getting us through. Those gouges on the wall are glowing. Why are they glowing? Below. These bodies, they've been here for years. The dead must have gotten them while they were fleeing the city. They look smashed. Toyed with. The dead don't do that. Keep your eyes peeled, will you? Whatever did this is probably still around. Everyone get clear! Close below. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, we're supposed to die. Don't! Where in the pits am I? You wouldn't know, would you? Follow me. I'm sorry, what? Hey! Hey! Hey, wait! I dragged you out of the river. You were unconscious for a while. Out of the... Was there anyone else with me? You were alone. No matter. You'll have to do. Do? What am I going to do, exactly? Your kind meddled where you shouldn't. Destroyed the barrier that kept the gods contained. What barrier? You mean that shimmering wall? We... So it was you. We couldn't... I, I didn't know. The damage is done. Now you must mend it. The god you unleashed is called Uru. It is his army of the dead that has been laying waste to dawn. The source of all your suffering. And how is it that you know all of this? Because I am a god too. You! Tiny talking... fox thing. You're a god. <laughs> there are lesser and greater gods. My name is Enki. You probably haven't heard of me. Consider me your chance at redemption. Your kind ravaged my city. My world. Killed everyone I've ever loved. Every breath I take from here on will be spent exacting my revenge on the gods. What's to stop me starting with you? Nothing. Death to gods. Alone, you stand no chance against a god. Let me help you. If you're a god, you're one of them. Why would I do anything to help someone I've sworn to kill? If it's vengeance you want, I'll give it to you. As long as Uru is free, your world is in mortal peril. Help me seal him away. Stem the tide of destruction. It's the least you can do. You have a deal. Any hint of trickery and I'll be burying this axe into your skull. I would expect nothing less. Now how do we get out of here? This way. No. My name's No. And the axe. That's not a woodcutter's tool. I'm a sapper. I fight in trenches, tunnels. Lots of uses for an axe down there. You're a capable one, then. I'm a fisher. Oh. You'll see. Good. Now, 
He pop how? He actually exists. Uru the Ravager. A title he's rightfully earned. He was in every story but they read to me. <laughs> What the hell? What was that? The dead shouldn't be here. Where is this place? How far are we from the trenches? Things have changed while you were unconscious. You should best see them for yourself. Okay, so you spend the money on upgrading your skills. It's kind of cool. You got maps, you got quests. Let's go over that, and then you can upgrade your inventory. Shoot, other those, that's cool. That's really cool. I am going to stop it here, though. The reason being is I don't want to reveal too much in the story, and I think I've kind of covered a lot of the cool abilities of the game. Um, I think the story is awesome. The dialogue is great. The world is impressive. I will say my only issue is probably the camera angle of control. And, um, like the control of the character a little bit I, I feel like it's a little wonky the game does its best trying to grab you back on point whenever it can but then sometimes you literally just fall into a ravine um which just it's interesting um but it's really solid pretty impressive game i'm actually i really think it's cool well hopefully you guys like it too hopefully you guys pick it up and give it a try and we will see you guys next time <laughs>